Daria, good morning. So we're getting a glimpse into the secret lives of Timmy Lincecum and Colin Kaepernick today. Okay, great. Well, when's the first baseball game? March 31st. Well, yeah, but it's the first video we get to see of, you know, the first days of spring training. And then I come to learn that so, Tim... Grief, where are you going today after work? Uh, I, uh, um, uh, to the luge or some sort of ski jump? No. <laughs> Is that... I, that's what I... That's what Zito told me. All right. No, very, very so, good. <laughs> so, so, no, this is the first time we see them. You know, we want to see how they're looking. And Timmy, we find out, has rented a warehouse in the offseason. This wasn't his first time back on the mound. He was on a mound in secret in a warehouse throwing to friends. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm more worried. I'm five pounds heavier than I should be. Hey, you're just worried about keeping the weight off? I'm not worried about these guys getting in shape. I'd rather get in shape myself. Well, I but think go that's... Ahead. But listen, the extent... Now, did he go to that extent to keep it secret, like going into a warehouse, building a mound and grass and everything else? Or, or is this just, uh, you know, the only place you could find to do something like that? Well, I mean, you don't want to go to a, a public place, right? Then yeah. you're probably hassled the whole time. Right. So you get your own place and you go in there and you, you do your stuff. And, uh, hey, listen, if uh, for $17 million a season, go ahead, rent a warehouse. That makes everybody think, wow, is he ready to go? All right. Well, I, I didn't think for a moment when he went into the warehouse he was, you know, working as a, some kind, you know, on a forklift. <laughs> yeah. No, but... no, what he did, he, he spends the off season up in his native uh, state of Washington. Right. So he's uh, yeah, good for him. Well, uh, on the other hand, I do not think there is another career for Colin Kaepernick. You, did you hear him sing? Yeah, that was real painful. Uh, well, I mean, you know, they have nothing to do, so I understand. Hey, I'll host a show for the Cartoon Network, but listen to him and Cam Newton as they try to sing Katy Perry's Roar. <laughs> I don't, I, I, <laughs> I don't. in no part of that did it sound like they hit any note that's in the song. Yeah, no, I, if you see, uh, like those young, the younger kids look a little scared, the, the older ones. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, that's a perfect example. If, what? if you're good at one thing, you yeah. can get up on stage. Uh, well, well, let's say Cam Newton was a, uh, 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 you know, a, a director for a, a software company. Yes. They would have hooked him off there or, or, or Kaepernick well, in, in 30 <laughs> seconds. But if it's... you're a starting quarterback... Let him go. God, it's as preposterous, though, as, you know what, me throwing out the first pitch. You yeah. know what I mean? People, you stay in your profession. Yeah, and stay I like, in your lane. It, well, they, I think they, li they like to, uh, you know, hobnob with the celebrities. And, you know, when push comes to shove and you got to get up there, I do give them credit. For what? For getting up on the yeah. stations. <laughs> would you sing anywhere but your car? Seriously, would yeah. you? No, Kaepernick, I mean, he's a funny guy. You know, he... Remember uh, during the season, well, uh, I don't want to talk to the media and this and that. He'll get up there in the off season. He's remember a couple of years ago, he was at all those different awards shows. Yeah. So, no, he's uh, yeah, good for him. Now listen, that that didn't hurt anything, did no, it? No, no, didn't hurt anybody. And yeah. and I got to give you the sweetest story ever. That talk about not hurting somebody. This is really helping a kid in Pennsylvania, the Philadelphia 76ers. Sixers. Um, it's the second day today of a two-day contract. They signed a two-day contract with this high school kid uh, who has Down syndrome. Here's the kid. Wow. And after they saw this, because they let him play. He's the team manager, but his team let him play and do a layup. They even helped him. They let him play in a, in a game because he always manages. So there he makes the layup. After this, watch. Take this phone. Look at this video. This kid, then they pass it to him. Watch this. Watch this. And no help here. Pass it. Three-pointer. Wow. The kid did it four times in this game. Three, four three-pointers. Three the team went wild. And so when the 76ers saw this, they're like, you know what? Come to our game. Come to our locker room. We're going to give you a jersey. Of the whole. It's really great. That is terrific. <laughs> Look at this. One after the other. Yeah. No, I love I, it. I, I use this a lot, but it's true. We, you know, let's face it. We, when we're on the air here, we spend time making you know teasing guys like Kaepernick singing and yeah. that kind of things and and there's many many times these sports teams 
and uh, some of the individuals do things that we just don't think is funny or newsworthy, but they're doing a lot of nice things yeah. that, that we just don't talk about. Exactly. So yeah. I just, I, I looked at that video a million times. I thought it was terrific. Yeah, um, no, that's really good. I saw, too, you know, with the stuff we cover, Gary, tends to be the big names. Lamar Odom being shipped off uh, to Spain. You think, so is this like where he can reinvent himself or where he goes to die? Is well, that the, uh, listen, that's uh, to get away from uh, that Kardashian mother, I'd leave the country. Too. Well, yeah, and I, I mean, I guess he gave rehab a shot. Remember the one day? Yeah, he, he gonna one play day. over there? And he, yeah, they, he just signed a deal, uh, a, a principal, but it is a signed deal, and he's gonna go play for a team in Spain. Well, I hope Good he luck. lasts. You know, when you're used to living, uh, you know, and working in the best with the best players in the world, on the Lakers and all the NBA teams, yeah. you go over there. Hopefully, he's got a couple of people going with him to take care of him. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he's back here in two weeks, but we'll see. And you think as short as the rehab stint. Yeah, right, we'll no, that, that's he's, what a sad way to go, this guy, all the way all the way around. Because he great talent. But what we'll see, I hey, wish him luck. I know, 14 years he had a great career, and then, you know, the downward spiral. But a guy seven feet with his talent, he's got to land on his feet. Yeah, well, we'll see. All right, we'll talk to you later, Gary. Okay, Dara.